Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to extract contour lines from Google Earth Pro by adding a grid system instead of using the add path and tracing over your area of interest. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a polygon for our area of interest. Now you might already have that, but um, I don't, so I'm just going to create it by come up here to the new shape file layer, and in the file name, I'm going to save this new area of interest into my project folder. I'm going to call it AOI for area of interest. Okay, the geometry type is going to be a polygon, and my projection, I'm going to keep it as my map right now, which is state plane. And I could add new fields here if I'd like to, but in this case, I'm not. I'll click OK. Now, to start my editing session to create my area of interest, I can either right click on my new shape file and come up here to toggle editing, or in the toolbar, I could click on to the toggle editing little pencil here. When I do that, this icon is now enabled, which is add polygon feature. So I'll click onto that. If I left click, I can start my drawing session. Left click again. I'm drawing my boundary. Left click to complete my area of interest. And then I right click to finish. Again, it's asking me to create a new field if I like to, but I don't wish to at this point. And to save my edits, I can simply click onto the pencil and I'll say yes to save my edits. So this is my new um, area of interest. I'm just going to reduce the transparency that you can see. Now what I want to do is create a grid. And to do that, I'm going to use this MMQGIS plugin. If you don't have this installed, you can come over here to Plugins, Manage Install Plugins. Oops, there we go. And we could search for MMQGIS. And you would simply select that and install it. But again, I already have it installed, so I'll close out of that. So coming back to the MMQGIS, come down here to Create, Create Grid Layer. The geometry type is defaulted to lines, and that's what I want. I'm going to keep the layer units. And 100 by 100 is perfect, and that's what I'm going to use. The extent, I could do the current window, the whole world, custom area, but I'm going to do layer extent, and that layer is my only one, which is the area of interest. It's going to output to a temp folder, but instead I'm going to direct it over here to my, my project folder. And I'll call this Area of Interest Grid. Click on Save and Apply. And here's my new grid. So what I want to do now is, from this grid, I want to add this to the Google Earth Pro. And in hindsight, I probably should have saved that as a KML when I saved it in my project folder, but let's go ahead and do that now. Um, because that's what I want to do is actually have a KML uh, file. And that's going to be in my project folder, Air of Interest Grid. Okay, so now it's a KML. And I'll keep all the defaults the way they are and click on OK. Click on Close. Okay, so if I come over here to my Google Earth Pro and come over here to File, Import, and in my project folder, I'm looking for, you can just say on the very bottom, say all files, it kind of helps see what you have. So I have my area of interest grid. I'm going to select that and say open. Now it's going to zoom to my area of interest. There we go. So you can see, you know, the topography around that. 
So next what we want to do is save off this grid as a KML file. Because what we're going to do is actually put it into a program called GPS Visualizer so that we could grab that elevation data. So I'm calling this Ear of Interest from Google Earth Pro and save that as a KML. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is come over here to this website, which is GPS Visualizer for slash elevation. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you could do a direct link there. So we come down here and we want to hit this browse button. We want to upload that file that we just downloaded. Um, we saved rather from Google Earth Pro, this air of interest grid from Google Earth Pro. I'm going to say open. And I want to convert this to elevation, and GPX is perfect. So if I click onto this convert and add elevation, it would just take a moment, just depend on the size of the area of, um, of interest. And right here's my download. Click onto that. And we come back to our our QGIS project and we could add the layer that we just downloaded. Let's direct over here to my downloads and here's that file. We open that and we add it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add just the track points. And say OK. And let's close out of that. So now that GPS visualizer, what it did, it helped to add those elevation, the elevation data. And then what we could do is use the IDW interpolation to create a raster file. So if you don't have your processing toolbox open at the moment. You just come up here to processing and click on toolbox. If you search for IDW, you'll come up with this IDW interpolation. Double click on that. So the vector layer is in fact my new point layer that has the elevation data. The interpolation attribute we're looking for is this elevation. We want to add that layer and it's going to default to points which is what we have okay so the extent we can either draw on the canvas by using this icon or i'm just going to calculate it from my feature layer now it's going to default to a very low output raster size you know like a one and two that's very very limited we want to expand this out so if I did say like 30, oops, and then I tab over, it's gonna kind of calculate, help calculate the rows and the columns. And I'll just save this to a temporary file. Otherwise I could click onto this button and save it to my project folder. And I'll run. Close out of that. Now here, are the, the the elevation, the high and the low. And to get a little better visual of this, we could double click, go to symbology, change the render type from single band to single band pseudo color. I'm just gonna reverse the color ramp here, click apply and okay. So you can see the high, the red is the higher elevation and the blue is the lower. So to create the contours from this raster, we could just search in that processing toolbox, contour, and the input layer will be our raster layer. The intervals you could do, right now it's defaulted to 10, 10 meter intervals, I could do five meter intervals, um, you know, whatever, and I'm gonna leave the default values here and click on run, say close. And here are my contour lines. 
I could select this new layer, come up here and enable the labeling, do single label the value, let's do the elevation field. Bring down the size a little bit. So there you go. So again, what we did, we created area of interest in QGIS, created that grid, and then we added that grid to Google Earth Pro. And from there, we exported that out, added to GPS Visualizer to help create those elevation data points. And from there, we created that DEM raster file, as well as contour lines. So I hope you guys found this useful, and by all means, if you guys have any questions along the way, please leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and uh, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. I try to put one out every week. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.